Hello everyone, it's Deb. Welcome to the Jewelry Making Fun Collaboration. I'm the host of this collab. And on the 18th of each month, we follow a color scheme, which is mandatory. And then there are two optional challenges. I missed June and I was hoping to catch up because I still want to make that, but I didn't get to it. Uh, my mojo is kind of still coming back. But I did do July, not a whole lot, but uh, our colors were yellow, gold, orange, and or red. And I used yellow, gold, and sort of an orangey red. <laughs> um, and I did incorporate sun uh, on the earrings that I made and stars on the necklace and planets. I use this January 2024 Galaxy of Gems from Bargain Bead Box that I hadn't broken into yet. And I used the Crackle Glass, which is amber color, yellow, and that is supposed to represent Venus. And I used the Carnelian, which is supposed to represent Mars. And I used the striped agate, 10 millimeter, a little bit larger agate, um, which is supposed to represent Jupiter. And this particular one, which I didn't use, I was going to use it just as a focal bead, definitely has the banding. Uh, the other ones have some too, but that one was very, really marked. So I'm saving that and maybe this one for a different project. Um, so, and then there were some other things. So let me just show you what I did. Um, well, the options, I forgot to tell you. Um, okay, that was option one. So I did do that. I did not do option challenge two. I just, my heart wasn't in it. I was going to do bead weaving around the cabochon, which I've done before and I enjoy, but I would have had to start on that like on the weekend. And of course I didn't. I made these this morning, <laughs> just this morning. So, I made a necklace and a pair of earrings. The necklace, um, all these things except for some jump rings and an eye pin or two and the earring uh, findings came out of the bargain bead box from January, Galaxy of Gems. This is Carnelian. This is called a uh, gold-plated stainless steel galaxy swirl pendant. Originally, I was just going to use um, that that bead in the middle and I thought well no um and then I just put another little dangle of carnelian these little gold plated rounds that we had in here and a little star charm because we got these little stars um on there and then these yellow are the crackle glass carnelian the yellow and then this is the striped agate and then I just alternated all the way up so that I have three of the agates. So we've got Mars, Venus, and, and whatever I said the other one was. And then I do have these star charms that came in the kit or, or links or whatever. Some are a little bigger than the others, see? So I used a little one down here on the bottom, but I used a larger one here in order to um, crimp onto the star. And then I used little four millimeter jump rings to hook the chain. Okay, so this part is 10 inches strung, roughly. And then I made the chain four inches on either side. And then these magnetic clasps came in the um, kit too. And what I did is I used another four millimeter jump ring to hook onto the jump rings they already had on here, which I wouldn't have had to do, but I just wanted the extra space. So this could be a little bit bigger than 18 inch, maybe 18 to 19, but the star and the moon charm were already on there. So I have the moon, the gems representing certain planets, the stars, right? And the galaxy, <laughs> the whole galaxy. So I think it's pretty and it's nice for summer as well, or fall, those would be nice fall colors too. And then the earrings I put on plain lever backs. I just used a gold, a carnelian, a glass, and then the sun charm links, which I was originally going to have hanging on the side over here, but I didn't like the way they hung, so I took them off. And I just put 
three little chain dangles on a jump ring and hooked it onto the bottom part. Um, I was originally, one second. Okay, I was originally, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Oh, gonna put these there and I didn't like it, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, on the earrings, I was originally going to have little stars dangling at the bottom, but they were getting a little bit too long, let me, to my taste. So I kind of just like, plus I didn't really want the star next to the sun, because I always think of stars for nighttime, even though they're always there, you know. But So these are probably, well, from the point of going in your ear, about two and a half to two and three quarter inches. Uh, it's hard to measure. I'm hanging up. I'm out of earring cards. So I I uh, don't have it on one yet. I have to make some earring cards or order some. Uh, I should just make them myself. Anyway, those are my projects for this month. Not very much, but I think they, they came out really pretty. And um, like I said, they'd be nice for both summer and for fall. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to check everyone else out that will be linked down in the description below. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you so much. I will talk to you again soon, I hope. Hugs, love, and peace.